Hey guys, Basic Sorgonomics, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, and today, why Facebook? If you want to check the episode just before this, we did talk about Twitter, and why should you do Twitter? Now, Twitter, we talked about, was a very reactive right now sort of situation. Facebook, you know, reiterate again, uh, something that's been passed by a good good friend, uh, you know, the Twitter is the thing during the event, it's where everybody can connect you know, like we do with PodCamp Pittsburgh. And then uh, afterwards, we go to our Facebook page. We go to our Facebook and say, this. these are the things that happened. These are the things that you missed. This is the, the best of the best of what happened there, not necessarily as we're doing things. Um, so why Facebook? Facebook, one, everybody's there um like everybody my grandma's there your you know your 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 father's there your you know when i when i came to thanksgiving the one year and realized holy crap everybody here is on facebook and that's how the community that's spread across several states um now communicates and now is more connected it's more than just that 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 awesome greeting card that my one aunt, one aunt puts together with the details of everything that happened with the family over this past year and how they're doing in college and everything um and that fishing trip they went on and stuff now it's like facebook is the greeting card and 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 we're not just getting together at thanksgiving we can keep track of each other during the rest of the year if we're interacting in it of course but watching my mom share the dog photos all day long right or 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 my sister sharing the uh the stealer stuff and we can actually be or sharing geeky stuff that she finds she knows that i'd be into like like transformers or something right there's that connection that's happening even though we are spread across hundreds of miles here um so that's your base i mean that's the audience you're looking for now if you're a person i, I said you probably know somebody on facebook at this point pretty safe to say uh so maybe though you just want to connect with that group of people um if you're a business um it's good to have a page there now i've if you look through my catalog of these basic sorgonomics i do have one that's entitled something along the line of how facebook is screwing you over uh that's about those those business pages um it's nice to have one uh, it's hard to cultivate people to get on there. You can create a strategy around that. If you are interested in advertising on this platform, it's advisable. Um, but depending on what your uh, organization, podcast, nonprofit, business is, uh, it's going to be maybe hard to get people into your page and deciding what kind of good information you can get on your page. Because here's the problem. Just because you post it to your personal profile, just because you post it to that page, you do not see everything for everything you follow and like. And that becomes the rub. Now you can pay them to make sure that bumps up in more people's feeds, is especially if you're advertising something or you you're, you're trying to sell something you're trying to see get people on board a service that you're involved in or or, or an event that you're involved in so money talks when it comes to that and as, as far as those systems go facebook you know privacy be damned uh knows the most about you and your behavior within its borders so that leads to better use of your money from what I understand, I'm not an expert on Facebook ads. Um, better use of your money when you're looking to do that. There's something called Facebook dark posts I keep hearing about. Look it up. It might be for you. It's not, that's a little too much than we can try to fit into a 10-minute podcast. But anyways, but I think the really strong part here is, again, if you've got a really good community around what you're doing, to start a Facebook group. Because what's going to happen when you have a Facebook group and you signed all those people up and they became members of the Facebook group? We have 400 some uh, people that are members of the group for Wrestling Mayhem Show. Uh, even more, that are part of uh, other groups that we've we've uh, are also parts of. And now, when somebody posts there to that Wrestling Mayhem Show, I will get a notification from that. You can turn this on for a lot of things, but it mostly defaults, I think, for groups that oh, somebody posted over here. You know that that pops up. That's something people can react to. That's, think, that's something where more people will see what's happening. And, and, and you can build that community up. And that's where a lot of our communities that used to be on Google Plus groups or just on Twitter or in some other kind of message board sort of system gravitated towards there a few years ago and just took off. And it's a really, really great reaction for, for that kind of thing. 
Again, if you take the time to cultivate it, you need to work on that community. As we talked about before, your community is the coffee shop. Another episode you can check out on the network. Um, Another aspect of Facebook where you should consider it, um, and again, this is if you are already a Facebook business or you have something that you can cultivate people around, um, it's becoming a video platform. It's becoming possibly a true alternative to YouTube. Now, I think if you go on YouTube today, unless you have something super, 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 super special and you get it in front of the right eyeballs, um, it can explode. But I think there are so many people there at this point, it's hard to rise above the top, uh, 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 you know, in comparison to how many things. You can't do the same things you did five years ago because now everybody's trying to get on there. And uh, and it's just kind of uh, hit this critical mass. Now, we've seen videos that we've started putting over on Facebook. And granted, we're somebody that has that has already a community there. And we're piggybacking on something because we talk pro wrestling. And we're able to go in, put these videos, and we we tag who we talked about in there. And now that's all findable. And we're seeing our video, our videos do fairly well in comparison to what they're doing over on YouTube. And it could be very interesting for you as well. Uh, and, and when it comes to Facebook, it's, uh, you know, like we talked about, everybody's there. You can cultivate these communities. It's a nice place. But I do want to caution. A lot of people would just make a Facebook page, maybe go buy a .com for their restaurant and point it to Facebook. Um, this is another concept we go on uh, very, very slightly. I'll just say don't depend on Facebook. Things will change on Facebook. Um, things will change on Twitter, You know, which, which we talked about yesterday. Uh, but uh, especially Facebook, they were going to change your privacy. They're going to change how things look, how things work for you as a business that has a page, for you as a personal individual that has a page. Um, it's kind of the nature of the beast. They're, listen, Facebook's run by hackers, you could say, or, you know, coders, you know, obviously coders. Uh, but the way that they put things together, they make and break and build. And I think that lends to a lot of that change that happens that does piss a lot of people off when it goes there. But one of the fantastic things about Facebook is you can also turn people off that you disagree with. Very handy handy probably here in this upcoming political season in the Americas. So uh, look into that. You'll get a little hide this post and it'll ask you kind of why you're hiding it. What nature? Do you want stuff from this link? Do you want stuff from this person? You know, what 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 is the deal here? Uh, and and it will actually listen and start cultivating that. And I have the most pleasant Facebook feed I have ever had in my life at this point. So, uh, so take a look at that. I hope it gives a little bit of clarification. What are you doing with Facebook? Why should you be on Facebook if you're a brand new noob to it and everything else? Uh, if you have any questions about any of these platforms or anything else we talk about in Basic Sorgonomics, I am at Sorgatron on the Twitters. I do have a Facebook. Look me up over there. I'll just leave that for you to figure out because I don't really publish that a lot. But go look for Sorgatron Media over there, and that'll get a bunch of stuff. Basic Sorgonomics is on there if you're not also watching this on there at this moment. Go like the page, and you'll see the videos as they pop up as well. Uh, Eventually, sometimes, somewhere. Uh, But that's that's, uh, some tips for another day. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.